We have an update today in the COVID-19 pandemic that many parents have been waiting to hear. Mm. Pfizer announcing its vaccine is safe and effective for children ages 5 to 11 years old. The company's next step to send its data to the FDA and request an emergency use authorization, which would allow more children to be vaccinated. Our Joe Henke talked with some parents today who are open to getting their kids vaccinated, but they want a few answers first, right, Joe? That's right, Sheba. One mother told me she has been waiting for this news because she wants her kids to be vaccinated so they can return to a bit more normal life. First, though, she has a few final questions based on Pfizer's vaccine trials. I'm really excited for my kids to have the opportunity to get vaccinated. Jira Boteo is mom to 10 year old Lucia, 8 year old Elena, and 7 year old Destiny. In the coming weeks, all of her children could become eligible to receive Pfizer's COVID 19 vaccine if the FDA grants an emergency use authorization, a step that could protect them and add another layer of protection for their grandfather battling pancreatic cancer. And just have that extra peace of mind so that they can get the most grandparent time that they can. Boteo is nearly 100% on board with having her girls vaccinated, but does have a few remaining questions. What are the side effects? What is the guarantee or efficacy rate? And will children still need to wear masks? You no, know, those kind of questions are probably like the clarifying questions I would ask. Pfizer today announced in trials, children 5 to 11 years old received two doses weeks apart, similar to adults, but the doses were one third the size of adults. The answer to Boteo's first question, Pfizer reported side effects were similar to what 16 to 25 year olds experienced, including aches, sore arm, and fever. Her second question, what was the efficacy rate? Pfizer announced in 5 to 11 year olds the vaccine was safe and led to a similar robust antibody response as other age groups. But the company did not release efficacy data, a change from previous age groups. We don't know whether there were cases of COVID-19 among children that were enrolled in the study and how those compared in those that received placebo versus those that received vaccine. Children's Health Care of Atlanta, Dr. Evan Anderson says it would be speculative to say why why Pfizer did not release efficacy data at this time, as there could be several reasons. And Boteo's third question, will vaccinated children still need to wear masks? Based on current data, Dr. Anderson says yes. It will be critical to get the uh, amount of transmission down before uh, I think it's likely that CDC might relax those guidelines. And there have been predictions the FDA could grant an emergency use authorization for Pfizer's vaccine in 5 to 11 year olds by late October. Dr. Anderson tells me the FDA could always request more data, though, or want children in Pfizer's trial to be monitored longer, potentially delaying this process. Sheba. All right, Joe, thank you.